So this plugin here from Devious Machines is called Multiband X6. It's a six band multiband processor. So you can just click to uh, drag, to add in a new band, drag to change the band crossover. And then with band selected, there's compression with a couple different modes. There's an expansion mode. What else do we have? Stereo, mid side, stereo linked, side chain, multi band or wide band, all kinds of things. If you're looking for a multi band compressor that's like modern, has all the modern features, it seems pretty cool. Devious Machines is is a you know a friend of the blog. I've reviewed some of their stuff after buying it, some of the stuff that they've sent to me. I have most of the stuff at this point. And uh, I really like the company. I like what they do. I like their their UIs, their ideas. Uh, they've been um, good supporters of the blog, giving me things to talk about. Jason says, I love Divi's Machine stuff. Yeah, they make nice stuff, for sure. Multiband compressors are kind of all the same in a way, but it's just the little details of like having like linked gains, things like that, that make each one better or worse for you. Having an auto threshold control, that's all cool stuff. So individual control, you can select a single band, you can change the compression amount, threshold amount, the gain amount, or with none of them selected, I'm not sure how to unselect, there we go. Uh, they can all be linked. Of course, Reaper has re-X comp, but it doesn't do things like these the linked controls. It's a big time suck to set up linked controls across all the bands where this does it automatically. And you can add and remove bands and that all still work. Globally changing how much compression, adjusting the threshold, adjusting the makeup gain, adjusting the mix amount or individual control with just one extra click. Super cool. Uh, looks like they have A, B settings as well. How about going through using multiband compression and sidechain to help a high frequency item reduce other high frequency elements of bass and mid sounds? Is that too much for here? No, we could do that. Um, yeah, so doing that with just Reaper plugins would be pretty difficult, especially if you want like the high frequencies of some source to affect the high frequencies of some other source. Frequency dependent ducking is a little tricky with, with Reaper stock stuff. But we could definitely explore that. It's one of those things that would commonly be used by something like um, Track Spacer, something like that. I don't think there's a Reaper stock plugin that could do it well. Like uh, I've done a tutorial on this and Kenny's done a tutorial on this and making a um, dynamic EQ from re-EQ. How to make re-EQ a dynamic EQ and why you shouldn't bother. <laughs> you can do this. It's a lot of extra work, in my opinion. And when Nova is free, um, and it'll do it without any additional steps, it's like, you know, there's no point. Uh, trying to use Pro Q for that, but there's no control over attack and release time. Maybe that's a good use of something like X6. So let me get some other sound. Maybe I've got a string. Let's just quickly see if this works. So let's say for a creative use, we'll take Multiband X6, we will sidechain input from the tambourine in here. We'll take the high frequencies, we'll go to, again, this is my first time really using this plugin. We'll see if I can just figure this out intuitively. Hit this gear button, we'll go sidechain source external and set it to multiband and play the track.
Oh, I was doing, sorry, I was doing the, the wide band there, but I want just the threshold. So that's, that's basically how you would do it. I don't think this is a great example because it's such a short percussive sound versus, um, actually should change the attack and release time uh, before we decide it's not good. And that's actually an interesting use. So we could actually boost the highs only when the tambourine's playing. So let's take uh, the tambourine out of the main source. That's a pretty neat effect. Attack and release settings are important so the rest of the tracks affected don't pulse with the compression, yep, or get distorted. I think this is a neat use of that, that adds movement to a sound that's otherwise static. Yeah, take a percussive element, don't put it in the main mix, but modulate volume using it with a compression or expander. 